What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in spin tires and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new spin tires update. They've done a huge update to the game, overhauled a bunch of different things and I wanted to kind of go over a lot of the things that are new with the game and a lot of the things that might be really important to you guys. Now as you can see from the start you go into um, the standard play area and you can choose your map just like you could before but say we, say we were to pick coast. And in the beginning, you could, uh, from the beginning, I'm sorry, you could change your, your startup trucks which, trucks, which is something you couldn't change before. You could change from, let's say, um, you could start out with, let's say, a Type K700. And now, the only thing is, that exceeds the balance. And the game balance, you have to stay within two stars to... In order for the achievements to to stay active now what that does really is try to it allows you to choose the trucks you start with but it also allows the game to say hey you've chosen a truck that might be like a whole lot more uh, more capable from the start for this map and it might not be uh, might not be acceptable to the game so let's see let's see if we try volcano game balance is way high so we could start, we could actually add another truck in. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's see. From here, let's see, we could change, I don't know, let's, let's try and change this one, for example. We could try adding, well, that's five balance points, holy crap. Let's see what happens if we add this particular truck in. So really, we were just about perfect. We've gone down one. And really what that does, again, is like I said, is it, it gives you the ability, it gives you the ability to pick the trucks you start with, but also keeps the game, uh, keeps the game fair. So you can't say, for example, start with three eight by eights or four eight by eights and uh, and just demolish the map in, you know, a few minutes. Well, it wouldn't be a few minutes, but you guys get the point. Now, as far as uh, as far as another feature goes that's really, really cool is the proving ground. Now, the Proving Ground, what that is, is that is something that we've been asking for for so long, and that is basically a developer mode. Now, the developer mode, if any of you guys played the Spin Tires beta a long time ago, then you'll remember how you could spawn in vehicles whenever you wanted to, um, respawn vehicles whenever you wanted to. It's basically that. It's just a hugely updated version of that. Now, before I get into that, though, Let's go ahead and try, I do want to try looking at something else that's very important, and that is this button right here, it says manage mods, and you click on that, basically what that is, is it's a in totally integrated mod enabler. Now, for you guys that played spin tires beforehand and knew about things like the JSGME, or which is basically the, uh, that's an abbreviation for the generic mod enabler, this is basically that just built into the game. And I'll be using this a lot going forward. I think. I think it's going to be. Uh, it's going to eliminate a lot of um, extra steps as far as getting mods to work and installing mods. So I think that this is going to be a really useful tool for people that mod the game a lot, like myself. And I think it's going to be cool because you'll be able to flip back and forth between your mods on one side and your available mods on one side, your installed mods on the other. It's very straightforward. It's very easy. And it just kind of describes everything that you needed to right there, right up front. So let's go ahead and get to the Proving Ground because I really wanted to show you guys the Proving Ground because it's really cool. So you click on Proving Ground and I've already got a couple of different trucks spawned in. For some reason that um, trailer is flipped over. But um, basically how the Proving Ground works is you, is you have your DevTools menu up here on the right side. And if you, for example, if we were to click Spawn... You've got your list of available trucks over here, and let's see, you can remove trucks as well, so like our cistern trailer, we can remove that, this truck, we can remove it, this truck, don't need it, remove it, and then from here, if we wanted to, we could say, let's add a type uh, K700, we can go ahead and add it in, and, hold on, not over there, please, not over, th ah, apparently it's, <laughs> Apparently, it's gotten a few glitches occasionally. Try this again. There. Okay. So now you select your Type K700, and you're good to go. Now, they do spawn in with no fuel, so you obviously are going to have to fuel them up. And then from there, you can just make your garage active. You can install um, 
any modifications that you would from the garage, like cabin protection, the grabber on the back, whatever you want, we'll install that, and the cabin protection will basically fully load this thing. Turn the garage off, and you're good to go, and you can start driving. Good grief, the turbo whistle on this thing is super loud. Now, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat, too, from the new update is the way tire tracks look in the mud is a whole lot more detailed. It's a whole lot nicer looking, and you can really tell that they took their time and kind of kind of honed in on the little details. I mean, just in driving around and looking at the tire tracks, look at that. There's, there's so much more detail in that than there was before, and it really does kind of give off a much better representation of the fact that, yes, you're driving a massive off-road tractor, and yeah, it's going to leave massive tire treads in the ground. Now, another cool thing is the actual driver. As you can see now, the driver does move. Actually, you know, he actually has some movement on the steering wheel, movement of the character, and that adds a lot of depth into the game. That actually really adds, adds a lot more depth. To me, it adds a lot more depth than anything else they've done so far, and I mean, I think, like I said though, it's the little things like the improved tire tracks, the driver that actually, you know, uh, that actually moves and stuff like that, where his actual, his body moves. And again, like I, like I said, it's, it's those details that really bring the game into its own, I feel. The way water looks on tires has been greatly improved. Look at that. The actual detail of the water, too, and the reflections. Not so sure about the movement. The movement is pretty similar. They may have tweaked it a little bit. But it's not ultra noticeable like a lot of these other things. Still, still cool though. I mean, still looks great, but um, but not a not a massive massive difference. Now the proving ground map. Let's actually start driving around it a little bit. Let's go. Actually, we can go ahead and reload the truck if we want to. But let's go into our spawn area. Switch over to our eight x eight. And move the 8x8 over to the road. And actually, no, you know what? Before we do that, garage, tractor, we can get rid of that. And let's see, carriage with crane. Carriage with crane, okay, that's just a new, new version of the cart with crane. Looks great, though. Go ahead and get rid of that. That actually looks a lot better than the last version. I like that a lot. So let's actually go ahead and try to get out on the road and we'll just drive around the Proving Grounds map for a little while and kind of talk about this update. I feel like this update is really, it, it, it's got so much in it that we've been wanting as Spin Tires fans and Spin Tires players for such a long time that the fact that it's finally come out, I feel like is going to take the game, take the game and kind of reinvigorate it basically. It's gonna kind of take the game and uh, really refresh its presence almost and it's going to make it a lot more friendly to the mod community which is something the mod community and people in the mod community including myself have been really kind of kind of clamoring for and really hoping that the spin tires devs would take notice of that and be like hey here's your mod support and finally we have it finally we have it and i can't wait to play with it and i think that it's really cool though too that, that they've actually given us the dev tools as well like the fact that they gave us Apparently, I, I like to, like, slam my hand into my desk, but, um, the fact that they've given us dev tools is probably the biggest thing. Like, that's the coolest thing to me, that they've given us dev tools, because dev tools make modding so much, not only do they make modding so much better for the community, but they make things so much easier to test, and you can just, you know, get into the game, test a vehicle, see if it works, if it does, great, if it doesn't work, you know what you gotta fix, you go back to the drawing board, you're good to go. So, and actually, too, new terrain textures as well. You can see, you can see the, like, kind of like the leaves, roots on the road. They definitely went above and beyond with this update, they really did. I'm even hearing new, like, engine, engine sounds, and what sounds like almost like a transmission whine, or a gear whine inside a transmission. Really cool stuff. There you go. I was like, come on. Come on, you got it. You got it, you can climb it, no problem. You're an eight by eight, remember? Was that just loop around? Yeah, pretty much. Oh well. It just loops around and heads back the same way. 
But um, if you guys enjoyed this quick overview of the latest Spin Tires update, then over to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button to see more videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.